Okay, so rounding. We can round to the nearest 10, and we can round to the nearest 100. There's two ways to do it. Um, I think the easiest way to do it is by using a number line, but you can also use the poem that we used at the beginning of the year. The poem is find the place, look next door, um, and you circle that place that you're rounding to. And if it's five or bigger, you add one more. Four or less, let it rest. Let it rest means that you make everything after the place that you're rounding to a zero, and the number is going to stay the same that you're rounding to. So, for example, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, let's say that I want to use, uh, let's round 52. All right, so I'm going to round 52 to the nearest 10. I'm going to find the place, look next door, And since it's a two, the poem says five or bigger, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So the five stays the same and the two changes to the zero. That's the easiest way to round uh, with the poem. Now let's say I'm gonna take 52 and round it to the nearest 10. You can also use a number line. So I'm gonna draw my number line. And so I take my number line and I put three marks. One, two, three. You ask yourself, what two tens does 52 fall between? And that would be 50 and 60. And then you would say, well, what's the halfway point? Halfway point between those two points is 55. Now we can go ahead and we can plot 52 on our number line okay so this is where i would ask myself does 52 fall between 50 and 55 or 55 and 60 and obviously it falls in between 50 and 55 so i'm going to put 52 right there and then i ask myself well does 52 look like it's going to be closer to 50 or is it going to be closer to 60 and by looking at the point on the number line it will round to 50. So 50 in both of the cases, whether you use the, the um, poem or the number line is going to be your answer. All right, so let's say that I wanna go ahead and round to the nearest 10 um, using a three digit number. And you can do that. I'm gonna change my color really quick. So I've got my nearest 10. Uh, using a three digit number, let's say we were going to use 178. All right, so I want to round using the poem first. Find the place, so that would be your seven, since we're rounding the nearest 10. Look next door at the eight. The eight talks to the seven and says, Hey, I'm five or bigger, so I want you to add one more. So we're going to add one to the seven. The one in the hundreds place stay the same because we're not dealing with that. Okay, so the one stays the same. Add one and seven together and you get eight. And then the last eight in the ones place changes to a zero. So with our poem, it rounds to 180. Now I can do the same thing on a number line. And I'm going to have my three spots. First question, what two tens does 178 fall between? And I'm going to take 170 and 180. And what is the halfway point? It would be 175. So I take my 178 and I plot it. And it goes in between the 175 and the 180. And I say, well, it looks to me like it's going to round up to 180 because that's the place that it's closest to. So that's rounding to the nearest 10.